Hi there. The following video clip will explain a slightly more complicated use of the multiplication and division rules when using index notation. Let's start off by reminding ourselves what the multiplication and division rules are. If we are multiplying two expressions or numbers that are in index form and the base number is the same, for example, 3 to the power of 7 multiplied by 3 to the power of 4, the base number is the same here, we can simply add the indices. That would be 3 to the power of 7 plus 4, which is 11. When dividing with the same base number, 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 4, we can simply subtract the indices. That would be 3 to the power of 3. OK, let's move on to something slightly more complicated. Imagine I said, what is 6a to the power of 5 multiplied by 3a to the power of 2? Well, before we start on that, let's think about what does 6a to the power of 5 actually mean. Well, mathematicians mean, when they write this, 6 lots of, or 6 multiply by a to the power of 5. What pupils sometimes get confused with, they think it means 6a is the base, and that's all to the power of 5. If that was true, a mathematician would use brackets to say, hold on, 6a is the base, and that's what we're raising to the power of 5. But here, a mathematician means a is the base number, and we are raising that to the power of 5, and then we are multiplying by 6. So, based on that, let's say what 6a to the power of 5 means. It means 6 multiplied by a to the 5. We've got multiply. 3a squared must mean 3 multiplied by a squared. We can do multiplication in, in any order, so why not do the 6 times 3 at the start, and then we have our a to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 2. 6 times 3 is 18, multiplied by a to the power of 5 plus 2, using the multiplication rule, which is 7, and a mathematician simply writes that as 18a to the power of 7. Now we could do a division as well. Imagine we were doing 6a to the power of 5 divided by 3a to the power of 2. What we can do simply and quickly here is do the numbers divided by each other first. 6 divided by 3 is 2. a to the 5 divided by a squared, well, we can use the division rule, that's a to the 5 subtract 2, which is a to the power of 3. OK, let's do a few examples together. Let's look at example 1. 6a squared multiplied by 2a to the power of 5. Remember I said I could do the multiplication of the numbers first. 6 times 2 is 12. a to the power of 2 multiplied by a to the power of 5 is a to the power of 2 plus 5, which is 7. Straightforward, there's our answer. Here, we've got two different bases, a and b, happening here, but let's multiply the numbers together first. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. a to the 6 multiplied by a to the 6 is a to the power of 6 plus 6, or 12. And b cubed, or b to the power of 3, multiplied by b to the power of 5, is b to the power of 3 plus 5, or 8. Again, straightforward. Let's finally do our divisions, which are nice and easy. We can remember I said we can divide the numbers first. 15 divided by 3 is 5. a to the power of 7 divided by a to the power of 4 is a to the power of 7 subtract 4, which is 3. And lastly, here we, have, we can do the, the division of the numbers first. 20 divided by 4 is 5. a to the power of 7 subtract a to the power of 6 is a to the power of 7 subtract 6, which is 1. And b to the power of 8 divided by b to the power of 5 is b to the power of 8 subtract 5, or 3. And a mathematician usually writes a to the power of 1 as simply a, so they would finish off by writing 5 a, B, cubed. Thank you for your time.